In this part, we'll continue with our classification of this modification part. We have already seen how the roots are modified for performing the function of storage of food and respiration. Now let us talk about the next modification where roots are modified for nitrogen fixation. These roots are known as nodulated roots. And this is a characteristic feature of leguminous plants. In leguminous plants, if we observe very carefully, like pea and gram, the roots, they have certain swellings at areas. This is the primary root, the branches, and we find that there are some swellings. These swollen areas, they are called the nodules. And that is why the root is known as nodulated root. Now what exactly has happened for this nodule formation? The bacterium called rhizobium, rhizobium leguminoserum, the one which is symbiotic with the roots of leguminous plant. This is a bacterium. It is found in soil and it penetrates into the roots of the leguminous plant. So number one, this bacterium, it is going to penetrate into the root. Now it goes up to the cortex. There is a very unique process which takes place, which we can understand by a simple diagram. Say this is the root and here is the root hair. And these bacteria are in the soil. These bacteria, when they enter into the root hair, they actually go in the form of a chain. So if these bacteria, they form a chain, this chain is known as infection thread. And as soon as this infection thread goes in, the root hair, it curls it becomes a loop-like structure. Now this infection thread, the bacteria have penetrated and this thread keeps growing up to the cortical region. Here we made the epidermis part and here are the cortex cells. So this infection thread goes up to the cortex and it stimulates the cortical cells to divide. Now when these cells, they divide, in an uncontrolled manner, what are we seeing here? We see a tumor kind of structure formed and this is nothing but the nodule. Now why the bacterium goes inside? This bacterium, it has an enzyme called nitrogenase. This nitrogenase helps in nitrogen fixation. That means it can fix molecular nitrogen but it works it works only in anaerobic condition that means oxygen should not be there then only this enzyme is going to work in leguminous plants there is a pink pigment which is known as leg hemoglobin. Leg for leguminous and hemoglobin because it has the capacity to bind with oxygen like hemoglobin has. So this leg hemoglobin, it acts as oxygen scavenger. That means it is going to bind with all available oxygen. And if all that oxygen goes away, the condition is anaerobic. And then this nitrogenase will be able to fix nitrogen. So these two organisms, that is the bacterium and the leguminous plant, their association is symbiotic. Both get benefited from each other. 
the plant gets the nitrogen which is fixed by nitrogenase and the bacterium that is rhizobium gets the complete nourishment, protection, water, everything that it needs. So it is a mutual beneficial association which is known as symbiosis. It is a characteristic feature of leguminous plants as we said, P, gram are certain examples. So such roots are helping in nitrogen fixation which is an additional function other than the normal function of absorption of water and minerals. Now coming to the last one where these tap roots are going to help in reproduction. Such roots would be called reproductive roots named after the function which they perform. An example of this is Dalbergia Ciso. Commonly it is known as Shisham wood. It is a very good quality wood which is used for furniture making. So the roots of this particular plant, they help in reproduction. The roots are normally irregular and on the roots are present buds. So if here is a bud, this bud gives rise to another root and from here another plant would arise. So this is the parent plant and on the parent root there would be tiny baby roots which would be growing and they grow from these buds. These buds are known as radical buds because they are found on the roots. So here root is helping in reproduction because this tiny root is going to give rise to its own plant and then we can separate it and use it as a separate plant. So this is for reproduction. So in all these four categories tap roots have been modified for performing additional function. It could be for storage of food, for respiration, nitrogen fixation as nodulated and for reproduction. So these are modified tap roots. Now in the next part we will take up modifications of adventitious roots.